Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of painting watercolors. This is going to be another demonstration of painting watercolors of Konkan landscape. So we are going to paint a water body reflecting some trees and a small landscape around the water body. This is the distant uh, bushes, a very light silhouette, not even a silhouette, so to show how far it is, distant it is, I am using this color. Now I'll paint the reflection of the distant trees. This white line in between the actual and the reflection, this demarcation, that's what actually means. The separation between the actual and the reflection and that divides clearly, that gives a very vivid division of the actual and the reflection. I'm starting with the foreground. This is one primary tree in the landscape, which is very bright. So it is taking the central space in the landscape. Bright yellow and green. So this central tree in the landscape gives more beauty in the painting. The cliff in which the you know, tree rests, this is also protruding in the waters. So now we are going with the reflection of the land, the tree. When you are trying back home this painting, you know, try to do it as a, a paint along session. 
paint along with the painting pause in between analyze see what is happening in my painting compare it with your painting recheck again re do again pause in between rewind and again play and see play it in very slow motion so you'll be able to discover what is happening in the painting now the reflection of the cliff the tree i'm giving an outside wash to the left side of the colors soften the edges try as a, a paint along painting session that's the biggest uh, you know, effort which you can put to recreate this painting be slow do uh, view it in a very slow motion look once or twice or thrice and then pick your paper and colors and follow the painting or else with one try one go you might get it's not that you won't get it but you won't be able to grasp all the least information very minimal minute information washes you be able to get a glimpse in the first view so this is one of the small bush which floats on the water so i'm painting those uh, blades of grass and also the paint the uh, reflection of the bush so here you can clearly see that white t marked line now that should be very minimal it shouldn't be as if you have used a scale and drawn a white line even if it is incomplete even if you are running inside the actual it is fine but that minimal white line should be there so that is what it shows the distance of the actual and the reflection this is another stone a rock uh, stone which on which is on the water i'm using burnt sienna yellow ochre burnt umber to paint this have to be very free loose you no know, paint uh, without effort light so here my painting is based on washes mostly then creating putting effort to create something now you need to paint with an attitude as if you are that particular artist there's no one else who can validate your painting and moreover you paint paint for the joy of painting it doesn't harm anyone so that uh, painting with an attitude gives you, you know, a real boldness doesn't uh, pushes you back you yourself judging that i'm not that into good into uh, water colors are never forgiving they are very hard but just keep painting painting with an attitude you know, the right intention of painting and be light in your painting you know soft handed soft handled giving way for a lot of washes giving way uh, less uh, to brush strokes dry brush strokes this is the last part of the painting moreover the trunk of the tree and the reflection of the trunk on the water this is the end of the painting final work thank you for watching my painting thank you for following my video subscribe for more videos and follow me thank you